your most distinctive feature that I have noticed in seeing you in the media are the signs that you wear on your lapel. Please explain. This is a sign that conveys the message of what it means to be a Jew. Uh, as it says, a Jew, not a Zionist. And uh, pray for the speedy, peaceful dismantlement of the state of Israel. And then it's repeated uh, on KUSA.org, our site, for people to go, go further and see it, the website, and then to see it's in Arabic, the same message. And basically, it means that people, unfortunately, around the world see somebody as I am dressed, and they think that automatically I am dressed very religiously. I'm definitely a strong supporter of the state of Israel and of the occupation of the people of Palestine. And in truth, there could be nothing further from the truth. The in, in truth, what you want is the speedy, peaceful, peaceful dismantlement, dismantlement of the state, state of, Israel. of Israel. Because it's contradictory. Judaism is subservience to the Almighty, practiced for thousands of years, a covenant with God to be subservient to Him. And Zionism is a new movement, a relatively new movement, a transformation from the religion into a base, materialistic, nationalistic movement to have a piece of land which is forbidden for the Jewish Okay, we'll have to unpick this piece yes. by piece, I think, because for most people, right. the idea of the State of Israel uh, is fixed within a very rigid framework and what they understand about the existence of Israel is, is by and large very uniform, at least according to what you read in, in newspapers. So let me, let me try and get your position clear on this. What you're saying is that the existence of Israel is somehow against your religion. The Jewish religion forbid since the destruction of the temple 2,000 years ago, we were given an edict, a decree by God, uh, it's a prophecy of King Solomon, that we ought not to attempt to recreate our sovereignty. Even one inch of Jewish sovereignty, even in an uninhabited land, is expressly forbidden. And we, what we Jews wait for the day when God will make a miracle, where all humanity will serve him in harmony. Uh, we won't have to convince an atheist that there is a God, everybody will recognize God, and then we will all go up and serve him. Prior to that event, we are expressly forbidden to try to attempt to make any Jewish uh, nationalism sovereignty, and this was respected and upheld by Jews throughout the, the trials and tribulations of the Inquisition, the Crusades, and every time period of Judaism when they were easily capable of buying land, they never did it because they understood this is against the will of the Almighty and this is not what it means to be a Jew. Once again, this is not an opinion that you hear expressed very often. Are you in a minority? Are you, is this simply your reading of the Torah? No, this is the view uh, of Judaism and Jews who are practicing the religion uh, who are, uh, around the world. You will find invariably any religious community that is very religious uh, we carry around, um, uh, first we have called the rabbis speak out. This is the, the leaders of Judaism from Sephardic, Ashkenazic, in other words, European, um, uh, Middle Eastern, any country, the, the rabbis, when Zionism came, the concept of Zionism was developed, the Jewish rabbinical authorities universally said, no, this is forbidden for us to do, in the, the reason being that it is not uh, the concept of subservience to God, it's a nationalism, and in its, uh, um, in its actions, uh, when it, it comes into fruition, when, when they created the state, the concept of um, stealing from people, killing, stealing, is all forbidden according to the Torah. So in every facet, Zionism is a rebellion against the command of God. But what, what about the argument that a lot of them make, and that is that the Bible specifically says that this land was given to the Jewish people by God, and therefore it belongs to them. Um, that is why Zionism decided, when they're making their national home, to make it in Palestine, because really the fathers of Zionism in the 1895, that, when the, in the 1890s, when they made their first meetings, they discussed making their national home in Uganda, in Patagonia, and because they were anti-religious, Theodor Herzl, Ben-Gurion, well, at that time, Jabotinsky, Theodor Herzl, these people detested the religion, as we have uh, a compilation of their writings in his own diary, Theodor Herzl wrote um, that Jews should convert to Christianity. That would be the solution to the Jewish problem. Um, and it should be done in pride and music on page 14 of his diaries. We will get to that with God's help. And he didn't circumcise his son. He openly wrote about this in the newspapers that he's not circumcising his one son in the hands. So they detested religion. They were looking for a practical area of, uh, that they would flourish a land that would be uh, fruitful and, uh, to create a, a land. When they, but then they realized to, uh, 
practically speaking, you need a massive backing as far as money goes. And the way to get that from the world is to go to Palestine and claim that they're, they're doing God's will, that the beginning of God's redemption, and therefore people should support them because in the Torah it says that God gave the Jewish people the land. Now, but, now, but, 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 Zionism, the but Zionism also claims exception because of the Holocaust. Now, you just attributed the phrase to Theodor Herzl, the solution to the Jewish problem, yes. and that will have raised ears all over the world because right. that's the phrase that most people attribute to Hitler. Now, right. the idea that the Jews need a safe country in order to prevent the possibility of another Holocaust, in order to solve right. the persecution of Jews throughout millennia, uh, is one of the founding principles of Israel. You don't think that holds any water either? The Holocaust was um, uh, God's will, and, we, um, and we, we don't question God. God is compassionate and so forth, but we have to be introspective, understand how, why it came. We believe that God will be exacting with the punishment for the Nazis. But at the same time, to take the, the issue of the Holocaust and to take that and to use it to rebel against God when God specifically told us, do not attempt to make your own state, and to use that to steal the, take the land from the Palestinian people is, is uh, taking the people that died because they were Jewish because, and, to, and, and to sort of dig them up and, uh, uh, and use them to rebel against God. It couldn't be anything worse for these people who died as Jews.